Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mike Cameron. Well, the clouds are thickening up again and the rain is coming in too, especially after midnight. That's when I think it really gets wet. And tomorrow through most of the day, we should have rain or at least some showers across the area. We already have some now. Let's take a look first with our eye cams over Hartford and elsewhere. This is our eye cam over Hartford. You can see still a little bit of sunlight uh, cast here on some of the buildings. But when we take a look at the middle town, you can see how we have that gray overcast and we're seeing the same thing in New Haven. And here is stores and you can see here too. It is looking rather wet as we're looking across the campus of the University of Connecticut and the beautiful hills of northeastern Connecticut. You can see too from our eye cam over Rocky Hill towards the Hartford skyline. There is some haze too as moisture is high. Showers are likely today or tonight that is especially as we cross past midnight and we look towards tomorrow and we are expecting to see those showers developing especially after three or four in the morning and then going through the day tomorrow. Notice how lows tonight will go into the 50s and some 40s and then as we talk about tomorrow we are expecting to see uh, there to be uh, a a lot of um, uh, clouds and some showers around. We'll see temperatures probably topping off in the 60s to near 70 degrees for you tomorrow. So when we take a look at our satellite and radar put together, you can see how we do have uh, a lot of clouds across the sky. And as we look farther to the south and to the west, we have lots of rain ongoing here. Uh, you can see through Cincinnati and then back through uh, the deep uh, south, we are seeing some of these bands of showers uh, crossing through that part of the country. Our future cast tomorrow's weather today, you can see how we do have uh, Still some showers forecast to be across the area as we look towards 9 o'clock tonight. Nothing terribly organized, though. We're just going to see some of these spotty showers around. So we're not expecting anything of any great consequence in terms of rain anytime between now and 9 o'clock, nor are we towards midnight tonight. We'll just have some of these spotty showers around, but nothing that great. But then going to about 4 o'clock in the morning, notice what's happening. We're starting to see that rain filling in. And then as we take a look at 6 o'clock in the morning and we take you all the way through about 9 o'clock in the morning, you can see how we do have that rain becoming essentially spread over the whole state. And at some points, it could become heavy actually we could see a few areas where we're having some of these downpours possible and the areas that are most prone to seeing that are areas especially along the shoreline so again this is about nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow uh, taking into noon time and then into the afternoon you can see how the same thing could be said even at three o'clock in the afternoon now this model is saying we're going to be having some steady rain across the state and some of this again it could be heavy especially closer to the shoreline through three o'clock in the afternoon and this latest model run is taking us past seven o'clock to nine o'clock tomorrow night still seeing some rain according to this this model is pushing out the rain by about oh midnight or so now I've got to say some other models are saying that the end to the rain is going to happen sooner maybe more like three or four in the afternoon so that's something we're going to be watching for as things trend tomorrow the actual end time to the rain tomorrow is something of some question the models don't have good agreement on that one but then as we take you in towards Monday it's looking like a much better day with fair weather through the day all the way through the afternoon and you can see here uh, we are expecting to see with the rain totals look at this we could see an upwards of an inch or more of rain according to the future cast so we're looking at some pretty good totals of rain here as we look for the the uh, tomorrow um, and it's really going to be tapering off sometime in the either the late afternoon or the evening tomorrow uh, with the rain totals being probably anywhere from at least a half inch to an inch and a half of rain and uh, coming up in the next few minutes I, I will have the seven day forecast but I think I'm out of time okay very okay good. all yeah. right thanks Mike. Yep. All new tonight at 6. Pokemon fans have descended upon the capital city this weekend for an annual tournament. The 2019 Pokemon Regional Championships, they're being held at the Connecticut Convention Center in Hartford. It goes on today as well as tomorrow. Thousands of trading card game, video game players and fans, they're on hand for the big event. Competitors are playing for a chance at $50,000 in scholarships and prizes. New at 6 is a very special day for Girl Scouts in Connecticut. Hundreds gathering in Hartford today for the very first ever bridging ceremony. Charles Reza Galal was the MC, and tonight she explains what that ceremony means. A symbolic ceremony for Girl Scouts and their families. 250 Girl Scouts crossing a bridge over the Connecticut River. It feels cool with like the little kids and the older kids like coming together and just like going across the bridge. The bridging ceremony symbolizes the girls going from one level of Girl Scouting to the next. 
it's so special and it's it really is a it's a tribute to the accomplishments they've made and their passion for being Girl Scouts and for the, what they care about in terms of our mission to be girls of courage, confidence and character. This was the first time ever in Connecticut a ceremonial bridge walk was held along the Mortensen Riverfront Plaza. It was like nice. It was pretty fun too. It was like something new to be a part of. Girl Scouts say it shows their commitment to the organization. Um, I think we get more opportunities as older girls because we have more responsibilities instead of like being younger. So we have, yeah, we get to do a lot more. And for the Girl Scouts, being involved with the organization is empowering. Getting to try new things without being judged by other people because we're all together, we're all the same, we're all like on the same level. Leaders say the bridging ceremony is a fun way to celebrate the magic of Girl Scouting. It's just a great way for everybody to come together and realize the connection that we have, all of us as sisters in Girl Scouting. And after the success of today's bridging ceremony, Girl Scouts of Connecticut say they will do it all again next year. In Hartford, Aglal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.